and welcome back to my channel. I am Julie and this is Julie Saws Her On Clothes. If you're new, welcome. Good to have you join us. It's been a couple of weeks since I last put a vlog out and that wasn't intentional. It was just last weekend just came and went in a flash really and I didn't really get much time to kind of sit and think about what I'm doing. And also the things that I'm currently sewing are, oh, hair sticking up, collaborations. So I'm not able to show you what I've been sewing, but I will tell you what I'm doing. So in the next week, um, you will find a whole bunch of UK and overseas vloggers talking about the Pogo Nip party. The Pogo Nip is a pullover that was uh, released by Friday Pattern Company. I think I mentioned it previously and I showed you the fabric that I was going to make my Pogo Nip with in my last vlog. I still haven't figured out how to put the link to my previous vlogs here on my current uh, release. Uh, I'm just not techie minded enough. I'm going to a sewing social at the week so I might get, I might remember to ask someone to show me how to do that because I know there's a few vloggers going there so I may in the future be able to go click on the link there and you'll see what I'm talking about but currently I can't do that. Um, but what I can do is I can give you a little glimpse of the fabric that I've used for my while of the poor gone up and then I'm not going to talk about it until my next video when I'll give you all the information about this wonderful project that um, Christine from Gemini Stitches has put together and she has done an amazing job so do tune in next week because there are lots of surprises and it's going to be a really fun project for everyone to join in on. So that's all I'm going to say about that, other than the toile that I made was in a French terry fabric that I've had in my stash for the longest time. I think it's been there at least two years. And this is a piece of remnant leftover from that. It's very stretchy. And um, yes, I will be sharing with you the trials and tribulations of sewing a lined, partly lined garment with a stretch fabric and what I learned from that. But um, what I did do in preparation from that, and this is definitely worth sharing because a lot of garments where there's the option for buttons or presses, I've often chosen the buttons rather than the presses because I'm a little bit nervous and I think Sarah from um, Super Valleys has been talking about this. You get the garment made, you get to that last stage and you try and hammer your hardware in and it just all goes wonky and wrong. And it kind of can ruin the entire garment that you spent so long carefully constructing. So I bought myself a Hapden heavy duty snap fastener tool. I tried it on a couple of scrap pieces of fabric and I've got to say that of all of the tools and I've got a presser foot a presser up where am I going on that top shelf of my dresser you'll see a blue handle um that was that cost me more than this did but it's way more complicated to use and actually isn't as accurate as this tool um I love this. I think it made it so much easier for me to figure out the male and female components and to actually get the snaps in exactly the right position. So that has been a really good buy for me. And I got it from Amazon. I got it from Amazon. I have used it on my while poor gunner, I definitely will use it on my next poor gunner that I'm going to make and I think it will be used for lots of other projects in the future. So for me that was the that was the purchase of the week last week and I really love it and I think it's 
super, super handy. I, I, I'm only sure I do the box. I'll show you what it looks like. It's literally a clamper, but these are magnetic, so they don't fall out. You don't have to screw them in. Um, and it just enables me to get nice and accurate. It It's almost like, is it hydraulic where you don't need a lot of pressure um, whilst you're trying to hold the fabric and snap it at the same time and the tools in there are so easy to use you literally you literally just sit them on there and it does the job um, the, it puts the holes in perfectly easily and accurately um, and I think it's a really great design so I'm chuffed with it and I'm sure you just pop that one off throw it on the floor and then just pop the other one in it's just great to use i love it so that was my purchase of the week weirdly enough it wasn't fabric it wasn't a pattern it was a tool to help with my creations and there's a really good instruction leaflet that comes with it so that's the first thing that i wanted to share with you I realised in my last vlog that I mentioned that I would do my Saw Healy Jane unboxing and then I talked so much the the time of the vlog was getting too much and I just forgot actually, I just forgot. So I will share with you the fabric that I got from the January Saw Healy Jane box and I'll show you what else has popped into my sewing room very recently so the first one was the extra fabric that replaced what used to be a fat quarter pack and this is a very bright fleece it's a snuggly fleece 50 centimeters it's nice and wide so it can be used as a scarf i mean we're we're in that in between seasons in the uk it's wintry and then 10 minutes later, the sun's shining and it's warm. One second. Oh, so I literally just had to stop recording because <laughs> I'm roasting a leg of lamb and realised actually I better go up there because I think the time is about to run out and I literally, it was on its last minute. So I've sorted out the meat for the Sunday roast. But as I was saying, this fleece, it's only 50 centimeters long but it's nice and wide um i have seen that people are making headbands with it and hats with the scarf so yeah it's very snuggly i'm not sure if it goes with anything that i've got and as i was saying you know this is january still and I'm really feeling caught between seasons because, I mean, you can see I'm wearing what I would normally wear as a summer dress. This is the Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress, which I made with a single tear. But it's just, it's just warm today and it could be freezing tomorrow. So it's really hard to set your mind to what you want to saw when you don't know what the weather is and you don't know what the weather's going to be like over the next couple of months when you want to be wearing the garments that you've made. But is what it is. Um, it's nice to wear um, summery clothing and bright colours. Yes, yeah, sitting with a summer dress on and a winter fleece in front of me feels a bit peculiar. But that's where we are. The main fabric in the Saw Healy Jane January luxury box um, is a Lady McElroy striped um, knit fabric. It's a, I think it's loop. Yeah, it's like a loop back. There's the back of the fabric. There's the front of the fabric. Um, I'm really not sure what I'm gonna make with such a huge amount of 
it's three and a half meters here and i think potentially it's the type of thing that i would make a a loose fitting cardigan or a loose drapey top with that's a lot of fabric so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that i think i'm going to just let it sit in my stash until i can figure out what it would look best with um the other thing that came in the luxury box is the emporia sewing pattern and it's the astrid dress jumper so i did initially think well that might be nice to make up with a knit fabric but i just think that fabric is too fine and i think it would just drip wrong and pull but there's the lined drawings it does look like a very simple straightforward dress to make up and i do have a few bits of um jersey knit sweatshirt in fabric in my stash that could potentially go with that and actually i was having a little clear out in my wardrobes yesterday and found two meters of is it i think it's a yeah cotton jersey that i didn't know was there but it's a, a really bright purple i don't know why it went there and didn't come with the rest of my sewing um fabrics but yeah that's something else that i need to bring down and find a space for um in terms of what else has arrived in the sewing room since i last had a chat with you i have four meters of a cotton jersey and they are two meters of this which is a navy and white background knit fabric it's very lightweight kind of t-shirty weighted fabric and i want to do some color blocking with this one and have the same fabric but it's the other way around so it's the navy background with the white blotches um same weight same fabric just the opposite color wear and I potentially i'm gonna make something later in the year for the summer that uses both of these fabrics um, because I think they're lovely. They me, I like. Um, the last thing that I'm going to show you because the other stuff hasn't arrived yet, so I'll share that in my next vlog. I've got an order coming from First of All Fabrics, which is <gasps> I'm super excited about. But I purchased four meters of this stretch bouclier. Now it's plain black it's let's have a look it's heavy because there's four meters of it and it's just all dripped and fell on the floor but it's got a lovely lovely stretch in it that way but nothing that way so it's two way stretch and the reason i purchased this is because i think my husband chris would really like the poor girl nip pullover he had a Yamaha pullover um, in like a similar fabric that he wore to death. He wore it for years and years, actually, uh, when he was kind of working on the boats and jet skis. That was his kind of, his go-to. It had nice big pockets and it really reminded me of the poor gun. Now, I've got a feeling that might have been binned because it probably fell apart so i want to make him a new top and i actually want to make myself something with this i think i might make myself a nice cardigan with it um because there's definitely enough for both of us to have something nice from that so that's what's come into my sewing room over the last week or so 
Um, I have been busy sewing, but it's nothing that I can actually share with you, which is, I don't often, I'm not often in that position. Often I can kind of, I make it and I show it to you and I wear it and it's, that's job done. But I unusually have two collaborations going on at the same time. Um, this is relatively new to me. The only collaboration I've ever done before was the uh, mallard court that I made with Stacey J from Stacey J Studios and I was watching her vlog her Sunday sit downs I was watching that before I got up out of bed this morning and it did make me chuckle she's a funny girl um, so Stacey is the only one I've done a collaboration with up to now but I think if you've watched my previous vlog, you know I'm doing a collaboration with Cara from So So Mad. Um, we are making the Isle jeans, but that collaboration has kind of grown. And now there's four of us who are going to make those um, chalk and notch Isle jeans pattern. We're going to make them up at the same time. We are all different ages, different body types, different levels of experience. And I think it's going to be real fun to see how we all get on. And um, during the week, Cara is organising a online um, check-in with us all so we can talk about what we're doing and how we're going to progress. I'm really looking forward to meeting the ladies online. Three of us are vloggers. One of us is an uh, Instagrammer and also attends um, a lot of the sewing socials. I believe it's Tamlin sewing socials. Um, I think so. Um, but I'll find out. I'll find out later this week when we actually get together on screen and have a good chat about what we're doing. So um, I have started... To progress with mine because I seem to have all of a sudden a lot of sewing tasks lined up and I didn't want to kind of hold the group up and fall behind so I have made a start on mine um, but I'm not going to share with you how far I've got because I want that to be you know we're going to agree how we're going to move forward with that when we get on our course I don't want to jump ahead of everyone else but I have jumped ahead in terms of starting the construction of mine um, and I'll be sharing with you um, in due course as we all start to record what we're doing around that um, that jeans project but I've got to say I cannot wait to get my second pair of jeans finished and out of the sewing room because the Persephone pants that I made they are on constant wash wear rotation i just love the way they fit with no gaping at the back they're comfortable they're stylish and i love them and i can't wait to have a series of me made jeans and trousers that actually fit me and that i feel confident to wear without having a belt that pulls them in so much you've got a lot of fabric sitting hugged around your waist and it gets uncomfortable I'm just loving my Persephone pants. They're great and they're comfortable. I haven't got them on today because they're actually in the washing machine as we speak. I need to think about what I'm going to get ready to take with me to sew. Now, I did want to do something straightforward and simple and not something that's technically difficult. That's I'm doing for the first time because I'll, I'll just not make much progress. So... What I'm going to do, the Little Lizard King, I think that's right, released a free hoodie pattern last week and I put it in my community channel. Um, I've had that AR printed and I've cut it out in a young person's size because I'm making um, I'm gonna make that hoodie for um someone close to me and then I'm going to make myself a hoodie I'm gonna colour block it and use up some of my stash that I've got here to get 
because it's colour blocked, you can use all them small bits. And I, I think it looks really stylish and it's really surprising how how nice the style is of, of that hoodie, um, considering it was a, a freebie. So the only thing I had to pay for was to have it AR printed, which is lovely. And if I can use the fabrics from my stash to actually make them up, then that's a win. And because it's a hoodie, I feel much more confident that I'll be able to make progress with that at a social event and still be able to engage with the other sewists that are there. So um, I have the pattern cut out, but I haven't got the fabric cut out. So I'm going to go up to the house and I'm going to finish off the uh, Sunday roast and then um, later today, I'm going to come back down to the sewing room and I am going to cut the fabric so that and, and get all of the uh, overlocking of the edges of the, the seams all prepped so I can get that ready for the weekend. So for now, I'm going to say have a wonderful day, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will check in with you soon. And I'm really looking forward to actually being able to share some of the garments that I've been talking about. So hopefully not too long now, you'll get to see um, what I've been making over the last couple of weeks and what I'm going to continue to work on. So have a good one. Take care. Bye.